Mandalika, Mandalika, Intercultural School. Hello, everyone. This is MIS Principles Vlog, uh, number six, I believe, June 2023. This is, of course, myself, Mr. Chris, coming at you today with, as always, uh, some good, positive uh, news updates uh, with all things around Mandalika Intercultural School. Again, for those who've just joined us and haven't watched one of my vlogs before, three very important reasons why I do it. Number one is to improve that communication with the Golden Triangle, the parent-teacher-student engine, as I like to say, to keep you up to date with what myself and our other senior leaders have been doing uh, to improve our school and to give a better education uh, if you have children at it and to make you aware course of any exciting uh, school events and activities that we want you to be aware of and a part of too. So let's get started. June is all about celebrating health. Uh, last month, it was about celebrating diversity and really understanding what that word intercultural means. And so this month, it is all about health, uh, both in body uh, and in mind. We are rolling out an extremely uh, how do I say exciting amount of activity surrounding well-being, surrounding health, um, about what we are eating. Uh, we have some lovely broccoli and lettuce and red cabbage. Wow, yummy, yummy. And all the other things that make up health, including, of course, a good mindset, a good heart set, uh, and how we treat uh, our fellow peers. Um, so that is uh, really all quite healthy, isn't it? Uh, June is all about health. So again, conversations at home from mum and dad, grandma and granddad uh, is about um, how we can keep our body um, balanced, how we can keep it full of energy so we can grow up and do things like make vlogs. <laughs> so uh, what has been happening? Uh, Mataram University happened. I was um, honoured to be invited uh, to, they were doing a seminar on digital citizenship. Uh, I was honoured as uh, a, a guest uh, to, to come and give a presentation on exactly what is digital citizenship. Uh, these were to recent graduates um, and current uh, students who are learning or training into how to become teachers. And so it was a really lovely event. It was great to meet so many young, enthusiastic people that want to go out into the world much like myself and make a positive difference and a positive impact and open up our minds to show what a wonderful world we really can all achieve if we just come together uh, in a unified force. Uh, I also talked about how to teach it. You can know about what something is, um, but how to actually put it into a classroom sense, how to put it into a structured syllabus uh, for all ages, uh, young ones and um, old ones, of course, very different. Um, in, in their experiences with digital citizenship. So this is a really massive topic. Speaking to some of our parents, I've really put it to them that I think all of us as um, parents of sons and daughters really can see this massive wave of digitality just coming all over us, much different to when, of course, we were children. And I think we really need to be aware of the challenges, uh, not worried about it, but certainly I think empowered about it and to know how to um, uh, educate our children, how, be, how to be able to listen to our children, to understand what our children are going through, what they're experiencing, um, whether it's being on Discord, uh, playing all of these uh, computer games all over the world with different people, some of whom we don't even know who are behind the mouse or behind the monitor. And I think, again, it very much falls on uh, the duties of a school uh, to have a fully fledged digital citizenship, digital literacy program, uh, which I can absolutely say we are going to be launching uh, in the next school year. So we make both our students and our parents aware of it. So look out for that. Uh, I've got some really good ideas. And I think uh, from speaking to the parents, we're really uh, happy to move ahead with them. So watch this space or vlog space. What else happened? Whoa. Biggest event, as I've said to many of our calendar is Intercultural Day. Uh, we have it in May every year. And uh, I was just amazed at how well, it was such a, a brilliant job uh, that our teachers, our students, our parents that all came to help with the country booze. We had over 15, I think 16 different countries actually got to the point where we were, couldn't accept anymore. We were too full. 
Um, but so much to learn and build on. And as I said to our wonderful staff, we really have set the tone with this event. Um, it's going to get bigger and better. And as I said before, uh, to have even more uh, positive intercultural impact uh, when we do it again. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all of you out there who helped us to pull off a fantastic, just smashing day. It couldn't have gone any better, I believe. And there you can see a load of um, photos of happy people from all over the world celebrating our amazing diversity. And that is what it's all about. What else has been happening? Uh, we launched, did we not, uh, an MIS annual parent survey too. Uh, very, very um, important that we get your feedback, that we can have a conversation with you. Uh, we know if parents are watching here, you are busy, you have your commitments and you can't always come into school to meet and speak with us. And so this annual parent survey allows us a table where we can all uh, sit around and discuss and feed back to us your thoughts and feelings and opinions on certain things. So all I can say from this without boring you too much is that we had an 85% overall satisfaction across uh, many of the different uh, levels that we questioned on, uh, R&D, uh, school climate, teaching and learning, um, various things like this. And uh, I was very uh, pleased with that. Can we do better? Absolutely we can, but 85% for a first annual school survey, I think is very positive. I'm very proud. Uh, of the jobs that all our teachers um, and staff have done in the time that we have been here. We really have come uh, a long way. Now, uh, a few things I'd like to say uh, that has come from this in consultation uh, with the PSG, uh, PSG Parent Support Group that we hold regular monthly meetings with is um, we will be uh, introducing, uh, dun, 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 I should put a little bell in here, uh, we are introducing a sick period to our day. And um, what that will allow us, an extended period, is to be able to fit in all the marvelous, amazing things that we want into our uh, new curriculum that we will be forming and innovating with over the coming year. And a six period just really offers uh, the space for us, as it says here, uh, to get our students to pursue their own interests, as well, of course, as the sciences and the maths and the Englishes, the languages of this world, to be able to pursue their own interests, whether it's sporting, music, dance, uh, thinking and feeling activities uh, where the sixth period will allow us to have a learning opportunity to acquire these essential new skills and attitudes. Um, so the sixth period will be happening. More information uh, will be coming to you soon about that. As I said, it really is all about holistic complementation. It also allows our fantastic staff to, um, uh, uh, to teach uh, certain subjects they might not be able to do at the moment and which they have a massive passion and enthusiasm for. And if you're enthusiastic about something and you are able to give that enthusiasm uh, to other people, it is very, very powerful. So sixth period will be co-curricular activity time, otherwise known as CCAs. It will complement our curriculum and it will make it even better. So that will be happening from the start of next year. Details with the times uh, and what activities are available will of course come uh, very soon. Watch this space. One other thing that came from the uh, uh, annual survey, well, many things uh, certainly did, and we'll be certainly using them uh, as we move forward to make our decisions to improve our school uh, for parents and for teachers and for the community is apparently, would you believe, my vlogs, uh, if you're watching now, this is a vlog, are too long. And um, all I can say is I do apologize to those that think the vlogs uh, are too long. And my wife thinks they're too long. And as I say to her, if you don't have the time, if you don't want to listen to me for 15 minutes or 17 minutes, then don't watch the vlog. You can get the information from many other channels. I just thought this is a, a nice thing I'd like to do uh, every um, month. Uh, to give those of you who do like to watch a little bit of video and, and get a little bit closer, get some kind of tidbits of what's going on at the school and a little bit more colour, then this vlog is for you. But I will try my best uh, for those uh, who do think it's too long to cut it down so it can fit uh, more easily into your very busy schedule. Uh, one bit of advice I will give you is if you go to the settings section on YouTube, you can change the playback speed. And if you put it to two, like my wife says she does, very good school. And so uh, that's it. There's a bit of a tip for you. Hope you can still 
uh, listen sometimes when you get some time. I will try my very best uh, to cut it down, but I certainly can't do it in five minutes. There's just too much positive stuff to talk about. How positive is that? On to other positive things. New playground. Yes, it has come. Uh, we raised uh, some good bit of money into Cultural Day through our raffle prizes. Again, massive thanks to all the local businesses out there that helped us, uh, provided us with excellent gifts. And um, yeah, we can't do without you. This this is what it's about. Uh, we now have some lovely, you know, this uh, Keisha hexagon where we have tire wood swings up on now. We have a, a little balance walkway. Uh, we have a wobbly bridge and much more coming soon. Again, watch this space. WTS, how about that for an acronym? Onwards and upwards, uh, we have, <laughs> look there, at Kai and Billy um, helping feed the new cats, the new MIS mascots. Uh, we rescued these cats. They were they were down. Well, one of them, Mando, was uh, down in the, uh, in the grass over the wall, uh, wasn't looking too good uh, and abandoned, and uh, we just couldn't leave her there. So uh, we've fathomed her up. And after a few weeks of um, of him, sorry, it's a boy, being at the school, I think clearly his brother, Liko, came into town. And uh, so we have a cat brotherhood that has begun in Mandalika. And it's just really wonderful to see the students, uh, again, all those soft skills showing empathy and love and care and kindness to our cats. Uh, it was a bit touch and go actually yesterday before <laughs> the vlog, they went missing. Uh, we found out that uh, they escaped through the front gates. Uh, the guards uh, must have been um, guardless and uh, someone took them in thinking they were stray cats. Uh, luckily, uh, we found them and they were returned nice and safely. So we're gonna have to get some big collars with uh, property of uh, Mandalika Intercultural <laughs> School um, around them. But that is Mando, that is Lico. The students um, voted for the names. So there you have it. Let's uh, move on or meow on. House competition for last month then was a singing house competition. Remember the month before was all about Earth Day. We were planting trees, getting our fingers dirty. Uh, green fingers, as they say. Well, this uh, last month, it was all about the arts and singing, but not just singing uh, just a song. It was actually singing our very new, unique, own Mandalika intercultural school song. Uh, the students and the staff uh, reacted, responded really well to it. Uh, we didn't have much time for practice, but they found areas outside um, of the school periods uh, to come together and work in a team and to cooperate. And all the houses did really brilliantly um, using dancing, choreography, <laughs> uh, different instruments as well. It was really, really nice to see. Uh, and, and I look forward uh, to, again, singing this song loud and clear. As you can see, Attila down there, he seems to be a natural vocalist uh, coming up through our ranks. Sing the song loud and wide every Monday in our assembly and I'm sure at other uh, key school events too. So well done to everyone for participating in that. Uh, and you wait to what the house competition is for this month. Uh, what else is happening? Yes, this is marvelously positive too. We finally, uh, after many months, had our official uh, Cambridge accreditation visit. As I'm sure many of you know, we are moving to a, a Cambridge curriculum, at least fundamentally a Cambridge curriculum. And uh, my gosh, our team, again, so proud of them from all the hard work we have done in the last six months to put the systems and procedures and policies in place for us to be able to have this visit from Cambridge. Cambridge, a renowned um, international organization. They have 230, around 230 schools, accredited Cambridge schools in Indonesia alone. So you could say uh, they do know uh, something about uh, education. And what I can tell you as a teacher, uh, I have worked in Cambridge schools. Every single Cambridge school is different and Mandalika Intercultural uh, School will be no different with that too. We will use Cambridge's research-based curriculums and sequence of works and scopes to give us the backbone for our training and our development, making our teachers and everybody better at this school. It will be really, really beneficial. But please remember, we will be also 
adding into this Cambridge established curriculum, our own innovative programs too. And I can't wait to share them with you in the coming months. Super exciting. It also, of course, allows our older students as they move up through the years to have a fully fledged international track qualification system to go through where they will be able to do IGCSEs and A-levels, renowned international qualifications that you can use at basically very much nearly all universities um, uh, and uh, other learning houses around the world. So it is a super, super important bit of news, this. Uh, I can't wait, as I said, to tell you more, but it went very, very well. Um, the lady there um, commented very positively on our school and the environment and the climate and how she felt as she walked around and, and um, touched, talked, maybe not touched, talked uh, to the teachers and the students. It was just lovely to have a good talk with her. This is someone that has been around hundreds uh, of schools in Indonesia. And so it was certainly a great learning experience for us. And again, I'm super, super excited for where this will lead us. What else is going on? It is, of course, becoming the summer soon. We have, I think, a few more weeks till we break up for summer, as the students would say, way, and probably as the teachers and maybe the parents, probably not so much. But of course, it seems to be summer all the time here in Lombok, except in the rainy season where it seems to be raining, but also summer at the same time. Um, but anyway, we will be rolling out uh, a, plethora, a plethora, shall I say, of summer camps that will be beginning uh, immediately, actually, after um, we break up, I believe, on the 23rd of June. So we're having five weeks uh, of weekly summer camps. Of course, uh, school will be open. Uh, and so it should be. We have a wonderful campus and people should be using it. I do believe also we have some international cohorts coming out. Uh, from outside of Indonesia too, uh, for some of our camps. So it's going to be really eclectic, really intercultural, really international, and it'd be a great experience uh, for any children out there. You may know of also who are coming here with mum and dad or family for a holiday. Come and enjoy one of our Brave Heart summer camps. So there you go, that's happening. And uh, I think the price is uh, very, very reasonable, especially if you book for a full week or even more uh, more information check out our whatsapp there 813-535-78345 uh, hope to see you on campus of course i will be there finally uh, let's wrap this up hope i've got it under 17 minutes for those out there that may still be with me now important school dates uh, we have a primary and secondary school field trips coming up on friday the 16th and wednesday the 21st of june super cool uh, school trips for this term coming up i'm sure the kids are gonna absolutely love it we have our early years uh, school field trip to somewhere a bit different on wednesday the 21st of june and there's the big one the final house competition before we announce the winning team of this year the house olympics will take place over two days we don't mess around do we here evacuation drill of course we're slipping as always good to be practicing those things uh, for safety sakes and then uh, for most or a lot of you I hope listening or watching now end of term four assembly uh, there'll be awards performances and a potluck party um, it will be a half day on Friday the 23rd of June uh, drop off will be at the same time but we would love as many parents to come to this uh, end of term for assembly starting at 10 30 and as it's a potluck party if you want to stay afterwards uh, have lunch with us all uh, in the manta hall under the, the lovely a beautiful manta hall bamboo roof um, please bring something some type of snack or some cuisine uh, from wherever you are in the world we'll put it all together and we'll have a good chin wag and a lovely send off before you go on your summer holidays uh, of course if students parents want to leave um uh, go for lunch uh, uh, elsewhere that is no problem at all but you are more than welcome to join us for end of term for potluck uh, party it's going to be great individual student reports uh, will be going out end of year reports too on that very uh, same day as well that's all in preparation at the moment so teachers working very hard uh, to finish off what they need to teach um, and then in terms of parents uh, a support group meeting the next one will be in the new year uh, of course we have summer coming up so that will be to be uh, confirmed with you i look forward to that uh, and again we're really going to be um, how do you say uh, taking the parents psg group to another level from next year um, so looking forward to working with the parents even more closely and um, yeah it's going to be another really great great year coming up 
Um, <laughs> I just want to share it all with you now, but I can't. It would go well beyond 17 minutes. Uh, and then, as I just said earlier, we have our MIS summer camps that are beginning in that last week of June all the way up to the end of July. So let's finish off uh, on a health note. As William Shakespeare, the famous playwright thespian said, our bodies are our gardens, our wills are our gardeners. Uh, remember email if you have any queries, questions, info at mandalikaschool.com. There is our WhatsApp number. Make sure you are connected to us, 813-535-78345. And of course, check out our website. It has been updated. We have many more iterations to come over the coming months. Um, but for now, it certainly has been updated. So check that out too, www.mandalikaschool.com. And that is it, hopefully, under 17, MIS over and out. Mandalika, Mandalika, Intercultural School.